Alright, what's up everybody? Matthew Zivkovic. I'm back again with a video about buying expired domains. I dropped a video about a year ago showing my method with Yelp and how to find really high authority URLs that you can purchase from businesses that have closed. And I had another method I had been using before that, during that, and after that that I wasn't ready to share. But now, since the end of 2020, 2021, it's all about teaching my affiliates everything I know about internet marketing and expireddomains.net. You, plus Majestic um, SEO is how I buy my domains and this is the way you should do as well. So first, expireddomains.net. This is a free service. You can sign up for free. They make their money if you like click to Namecheap or GoDaddy and end up purchasing their URL, but there's no cost to you, the consumer, uh, to use this whatsoever. So go ahead and make an account. Uh, I'll show you how we search. We go to deleted domains. And we're going to go to filter and what we're going to do is this so hvac i need an hvac site all right so we're going to apply the filter what i normally do is then sort by bl that's for backlinks le is for how many characters dp is for how many domains those backlinks consist of um, that's kind of important um, and then wayback machine this is if there's some record of it in the wayback machine and um, a little snippet about a future video that's coming is how to get unique text. And I just gave you a really good clue there. How to get unique text for your websites. Whether or not you're using expired domains to buy URLs, you can also use this to find really high quality unique text. Unique in, term, in terms of Google's view. Okay, back to this now. So we have a list here. I've sorted it by backlinks. Really anything under one, I don't even want to look at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this over to Excel just so I can get this one column. You don't need to see that. I'm doing this off page. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy those URLs and I'm going to do a majestic, a bulk majestic SEO. So majestic SEO, what this is, this tool, it's a paid tool. So this will cost, I think it's about $50 a month. Uh, I think they charge in pounds, so like $63 a month. Um, this will show you the value of a website in terms of how Google looks. It kind of emulates Google's algorithm to try to show the authority of a website. So what we'll do is, let's go to bulk. I don't know how to get to it within, I just always do this. So Majestic Bulk Backlink Checker. I can go ahead and paste in all the URLs that are potential for sale from uh, expired domains. Now I can check the backlinks and I can see, okay, great. Let me do it by trust flow. So Majestic will give a trust flow and a citation flow score. Trust flow is how worthy the, the in, in authoritative the website and the content on the website is. Citation flow is how many links and the quality of those links. Trust flow is much better for, for value than citation flow. It's very easy to get citation flow high. It's hard to get trust flow high. So now we're looking, and this one stands out right at the top. So Comfortune, I guess Comfortune or Comfortune HVAC. So obviously the site is not up because it's been expired. So let's give a check directly in Majestic just for this so we can get a little more data on it. Okay, so like we knew a 10 and a 6. We can see the backlinks that it has. So it only has a few backlinks, but that's fine because what this has is age. Now there's a little debate whether that if you buy an age domain that Google will somehow not see it, it will, like it's registered by a new owner, a registrant, it's not going to give its age anymore. But I, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true whatsoever based on my history and how many good sites I've had using expired domains over the many years I've been building sites. So we'll see here, we've got some, just looks like some directory, hbacdirectory.net, et cetera, et cetera. That looks good. So now I want to see if this site is available for purchase. I use Namecheap and sweet, awesome. I'm buying this domain. So I'm adding that to my cart and we are going to buy this domain. So that's sick. So let me show you another way you can use this filter. So we go back to our expired domains, click on the filter, um, and then you can go to Majestic and you can put in a number, five and five. And then, so if we did that this time, it would only show that one particular HVAC domain. See there. 
So if we want to do another one, so let's show filter again. And now let's this time look for, uh, let's go with like, um, what do I want to try to find? How about storage? I, I have a new client, um, nationwide company for self storage. So let's see. And now I have five and five. So I've only got these to look at. So we'll go ahead and do this again. And look, dot, yeah, there's not too many here. This is um, the dot AU, the dot ED. So I can show you here's another thing I can do is I can go to additional and I can only, I only want dot com, dot net, orgs, infos, biz. Um, pro is fine. Okay, so I only want those. So apply filter. I'm only going to have, obviously, a couple now. All right. So let's go ahead and take those. I just I can do this one by one at this point. Let's just see what we got with Majestic. So 11 and 8. That's pretty solid. Now, what I would normally do, honestly, is I would check these first, especially when you're checking. Come here first. Make sure it's available before you... Um, come on. Oh, I got to have it here. Duh. All right, here we go. If it's not available, yeah, see, it's, it's no point even analyzing it any further. Let's check out this one. And then I can look at it closer if it's available. Not available. Okay, so what I can do is if I really needed a self-storage, then I would just get rid of these and see what the best thing I can get. All right, so now I got... Sort by backlinks. All right. So, I mean, whatever. I can, and I can also go show filter and make the amount, let's go 100, well, whatever, go 250. Apply filter. All right. So, let me just take this whole list. Even though these have zeros and they're probably not going to show me anything worth of value, it's just easier. You take the whole list. Again, I'm on Excel off screen. Get in that first column. All right, and then we're going to do bulk. Adjust the SEO. Pop them in. Sort by trust flow. We already know that one's not available. So here's a kind of crazy thing. This thing didn't show up, right? We didn't see, oh, because, yeah, well, that's wild. Look at that. It's a 15, so I'm glad. So let's look. Eight bucks a year. So now let's get a little closer look at this thing. A 15 and a four. The backlinks are coming off of whatever, even though these backlinks. So again, I look at the historic. I don't know if I said that earlier. I look at the historic. It won't show me in this version, this initial paid version. You only get to see the fresh, but historic means something. So 22 domains have linked it with 154 total links coming. And I can look at the um, backlinks, and I could see, like, this is a really strong backlink it's getting for this Triton Medical. Yeah, so here, where's Triton? There it is. So this is just some site that's linking back and it's making this site strong as hell. And I'm buying this site. This is awesome. This is awesome. So there's another awesome purchase. Two purchases I found that quick, an HVAC site um, and this one. Now let's talk about like what sites I've done. Um, I've bought, I've built over, well, five, 6,000 websites. And um, what I'm realizing is expired domains are way, way better. And... Um, I'm really only now building expired domains and I'm getting a lot better results. Now, back when I was doing this heavily, 2008 to 2016, things were a lot different. It was like shooting fish in a barrel. Now it's much more difficult in terms of like getting a site that's going to get 100 visits a day. That's much harder. Right now, I shoot for sites that can get 10 to 20 visits a day and that's a total winner because that should be getting me. Historically, SEO is gets me about 20% click, click to call. So 10 to 20 visitors is one to two calls. Um, now these sites you are seeing, what are they costing me? $8 to purchase this for the year. My hosting is virtually unlimited for a few bucks a month. 
Uh, and I pay my VA a couple dollars an hour, or a couple dollars. I pay them him now eight bucks an hour, but you can get them for six bucks an hour. A um, couple hours to make the site. And I'll show you some examples. I'm not afraid to show sites I'm building, buying, or own. Um, success leaves clues and success also exposes you. When you're number one, everyone can see you. So who cares? You're going to see the sites I own. This site here, perfecthealth101.net. Look at this puppy. This one is an expired domain. I think I purchased it. Let me see. Checking off page. I purchased it officially uh, May 17th, 2018. So um, a little over two and a half years, almost two and a half years ago. I bought it. The trust hole was probably about like 15 and this citation flow, I can't remember, maybe in the 20s. But I've been using another service called Black Hack Links to really pump this up. Uh, and I use Black Hack Links for everything, uh, and this site is really doing well. So first, let me just show you how well this site does. Um, this is a mass page site built with SERP Farm. I'll be doing another training webinar pretty soon about how to build these sites, and you're definitely going to want to use this training on how to find your expired domains. But PerfectHealth101.net will do a site colon. It shows 2,800 pages indexed, but it's really got about 15,000. Google's index, what they show, has drastically changed. And if you search any of these keywords, I mean, it's for uh, a niche dentures, right? Uh, but it places really well. It's pretty much number one for any of the meta titles. Uh, Perfect Health 101. Um, if I just do, let's see, get the zip out. Perfect Health 101. And it does well. I, I'll tell you what, this, this site does, does well. Um, I, I've had $200 days with this site. Um, I've... Definitely um, not every site is going to perform like this. I definitely need to figure out why this site did better than others. But sometimes it's just a, it's just a potion that seems to work. It was the right site in the right time, and um, it just seems to work. So any case, expired domains, they work, they work really well. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was about Black Hack Links, and this is going to be more of the training of, of the Mass Page Builder that I'm doing here November... What am I doing that? I'm doing November 25th at 11 central time. Uh, I'll put in the comments the registration to the Zoom for that. Anyways, uh, if you're watching this in a way decent time, don't worry about that. Um, but the backpack link. So this, I've been using this guy for years. Um, and it, I use the cheapest links possible, which are his quality comments. And they work awesome. They're really cheap. Look at this. 40 pounds for 20,000 backlinks. You don't even need that much. You can do all the other stuff. I've bought everything on here. I've spent a ton of money on this site. This seems to give me the biggest bang for the buck. So I'll build out, like, let's say 20 sites for the week. And then I'll buy this package. That's 1,000 links to each one. It usually boosts them up right away. So um, that's another part of this. So that concludes. Uh, you're going to use expireddomains.net. Right? It's free. You're going to search. You're going to go expire domains and you're going to go to the deleted domains. You're going to use the filter contains. You can also use the majestic filter here. Once you get your list, you're going to use your majestic bulk to sort out for the good ones. You're going to check Namecheap to see which ones are available. And then you're going to research further using majestic to see which ones are worth buying. Now, I'm sure other people out there use different tools. Go ahead and use your tools, but um, this is what works for me. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments, and thanks to everyone who's watched this. See you next time.